اس میں نئے ائر چیف مارشل زہیر احمد بابر تیسویں سربراہ کی حیثیت سے چارج سنبھالیں گے اور سبق دوش ہونے والے پاک فضائیہ کے سربراہ ائر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان نئے ائر چیف کو کمان سونپیں گے اسلام آباد میں پاک فضائیہ میں کمان تبدیلی کی تقریب جاری ہے اور اس تقریب کا آغاز ہو چکا ہے اور تقریب میں نئے ائر چیف مارشل زہیر احمد بابر تیسویں سربراہ کی حیثیت سے چارج سنبھالیں گے اور سبق دوش ہونے والے انور مجاہد انور خان نئے ائر چیف کو کمان سونپیں گے کہ ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان اس وقت تشریف لا چکے ہیں آپ کو اپڈیٹ کر رہے ہیں پاک فضائیہ میں کمان تبدیلی کی تقریب آج ہیڈ کوارٹر اسلام آباد میں ہو رہی ہے چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان کو گارڈ آف آنر پیش ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان کو گارڈ آف آنر پیش کیا جا رہا ہے اس وقت براہ راست آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان کو گارڈ آف آنر پیش کیا گیا ہے پاک فضائیہ میں کمان تبدیلی کی تقریب جاری ہے نئے ایئر چیف مار زہیر احمد بابر تیسویں سربا کی حیثیت سے چارج سنبھالیں گے ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان نئے ایئر چیف کو کمان سونپیں گے اسلام آباد میں پاک فضائیہ میں کمان تبدیلی کی تقریب جاری ہے ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور خان کو گارڈ آف آنر پیش کیا گیا نئے ایئر چیف مارشل زہیر احمد بابر تیسویں سربراہ کی حیثیت سے چارج سنبھالیں گے اور سبق دوش ہونے والے پاک فضائیہ کے سربراہ ایئر چیف مارشل
narration from the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما عندكم ينفد وما عند الله باق وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّ الَّذِينَ اللہ کے نام سے جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم کرنے والا ہے ارشاد باری تعالی ہے جو کچھ تمہارے پاس ہے وہ ختم ہونے والا ہے اور جو کچھ اللہ کے پاس ہے وہ کبھی ختم نہ ہوگا اور جن لوگوں نے صبر کیا ہم ان کو ان کے اعمال کا بہت اچھا بدلہ دیں گے جو کوئی بھی نیک عمل کرے خواہ وہ مرد ہو یا عورت بشرط کہ وہ مومن ہو ہم اسے دنیا میں پاکیزہ زندگی بسر کرائیں گے اور آخرت میں بھی ان کے اجر ان کے بہترین اعمال کے مطابق بخشیں گے وما علینا الا البلاغ Now I request Air Chief Marshal Mujahid Anwar Khan, Nishane Imtiaz and Nishane Imtiaz Military to kindly address the August Federal. Sir, please. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چیف آف دا ایئر اسٹاف ڈیزگنیٹ فارمر چیفس آف دا ایئر اسٹاف پرنسپل اسٹاف آفسرز ویٹرنس ڈیئر کامریڈس اینڈ کولیگس لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹلمین السلام علیکم اینڈ اے ویری گڈ مارننگ ٹوڈے ایز آئی ریلنکوش کمانڈ On completion of my tenure as Chief of the Air Staff, I bow my head in great humility before Allah Almighty for His boundless blessings and guidance throughout my career. No doubt, serving Pakistan Air Force over four decades has been a privilege, honor, and a matter of immense satisfaction for me. Certainly, I cannot think of greater honor than leading one of the finest air force of the world. On this occasion, I express my gratitude to each member of Pakistan Air Force for their remarkable contributions towards making Pakistan Air Force a strong element of national defense. In particular, I am grateful to all my principal staff officers for their wholehearted support, partnership, and cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, on this very day, three years ago, during my inaugural address, I pledged to you and to this nation that we would maintain, retain, 
and earn the title of pride of the nation and be second to none. Our adversaries will know that we will and we shall pay any price to defend Pakistan. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We upheld the pledge made three years ago and its manifestation was Operation Swift Retort. We have once again lived up to the nation's expectations and proved to be the guardians of our free blue skies. Our response was timely and well calibrated, which kept the adversary at bay at the time of assumption of my command in 2018. I also set certain guiding principles and core values. The foremost among these were operational preparedness, self-reliance through indigenization, merit, teamwork, empowerment, and welfare of the personnel. We relentlessly pursued these objectives and accomplished them successfully. More so, during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, we successfully preserved force readiness and ensured safety of personnel with Allah's blessing and the disciplined conduct by each member of Pakistan Air Force. Despite the testing times, PF made great strides on its journey to excellence and continued transformation for a next generation Air Force 2047, a vision that requires relentless pursuit in the years and decades to come. In my tenure, PF resolved for a clean, green, and compassionate Pakistan Air Force. Devise a strategy to recollect the past, reconnect with the present, and recharge for the future with the mindset of thinking to win, and lead major focus on strategic restructuring and expansion in training and operational domains. I thank my team for standing shoulder to shoulder with me and transforming the vision into reality. PF conducted inter squadron armament competition leading to firepower demo. Moreover, participation of national and international exercises, including some of them Shaheen, Saffron Bandit, despite COVID pandemic environment. Also, several initiatives were taken for contribution towards nation building, which include mayors for healthcare and promotion of education, like establishment of diagnostic centers. For the welfare of our veterans, we have took mayors to provide them quality living, and also possible endeavors were made for added focus on welfare of persons with special needs. Ladies and gentlemen, these were indeed tough milestones, but all this has only been possible due to the blessing of Allah Almighty and dedicated efforts by each member of this elite organization. I am indebted to each one of you who are standing beside me to achieve the targets set for taking Pakistan Air Force to greater heights of excellence. I am proud to leave Pakistan Air Force in the highest state of operational readiness, prepared to face any challenge befittingly under the able leadership of accomplished professional Chief of Air Staff designate Air Marshal Babar. On this occasion, I congratulate Air Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar on his appointment, inshallah, as Chief of the Air Staff Pakistan Air Force and wish him success in his new assignment. My successor is a sound professional with extraordinary leadership qualities and above all, he is an excellent human being. He takes over the responsibility of Pakistan Air Force fully charged and with spirit of great courage, commitment, professionalism, and specifically 
looking after every serving and retired individual of Pakistan Air Force. I am confident that during his tenure of command of Pakistan Air Force will scale to new heights of excellence, inshallah. My prayers would always be with him to lead Pakistan Air Force with exemplary traits. Dear comrades and colleagues, undoubtedly spending a major part of my life amongst the finest professionals has always been a source of unparalleled joy. I shall always cherish the memories gathered during all these years. I urge you to have firm faith in Allah and your capabilities. Stand for the right with confidence and integrity. Work with the sincerity of purpose and a complete commitment to your job. Remember, being united is the key to success and you must convert your challenges into opportunities. Indeed, Pakistan Air Force is a wonderful team and its beauty consists in its cohesiveness. Dear comrades and colleagues, I acknowledge your wholehearted support by each one of you in making Pakistan Air Force a strong element of national defense and a symbol of pride for the nation. I wish you Godspeed and pray that may Allah Almighty keep you in his gracious care and guide you in all your endeavors to defend this motherland in keeping with the glorious traditions of Pakistan Air Force. Pakistan Air Force Zindabad, Pakistan Armed Forces Zindabad, Pakistan Pindabad. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments from now, a four-ship formation of JF-17 Thunder will pay tribute to the outgoing Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Mujahid Anwar Khan, Nishan Imtiaz, Nishan Imtiaz Military. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the horizon. I present to you JF-17 Thunder, the pride of the nation. The formation is led by Wing Commander Shahriyar and it will perform linear bombast over the venue presenting the final salute to the outgoing Chief of Air Staff. The Chief of Air Staff leadership ensured Pakistan Air Force as frontline organization of national defense and ready to respond to all possible challenges. In this context, Operation Swift Retard entailed Pakistan Air Force among the most respected Air Forces of the world. It is an acknowledgement to the Air Chief Marshal Mujahid's leadership, his dauntless courage, and unmatched spirit of patriotism. Under his vision, Pakistan Air Force has progressed tremendously on enhancing operational capabilities in all domain of aerial defense for Pakistan. Strategic slogan of reconnect, recollect, and recharge has undoubtedly transformed the thinking process in Pakistan Air Force at all levels. Through the manifestation of this slogan, we connect our past with present and future by carrying out a dispassionate analysis while reinforcing our strengths for future challenges. The journey from indigenous JF-17 Thunder to induction of high-tech platform continues. We stand firm today to defend aerial frontiers of our motherland. A four-ship formation of JF-17 Thunder led by OC number 26 multi-role squadron Wing Commander Shahriyar along with his team on the left Squadron Leader Vakas, on the right, Squadron Leader Monim, whereas on the slot is Wing Commander Umar.
Without any further delay, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the horizon. I present to you JF-17, the pride of the nation. Nishane Imtiaz and Nishane Imtiaz Military will now decorate the designate Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babur, Hilal Imtiaz Military with the coveted rank of Air Chief Marshal. Award of Rank Badges, sir, please. Ladies and gentlemen, presentation of Command Sword of Pakistan Air Force.
Respected ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Now you're all requested to please proceed towards the Western Lawn for refreshment. Thank you. بگدوش ہونے والے ایئر چیف مارشل مجاہد انور نے نئے ایئر چیف ظہیر الدین